Dun 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 dun. Look, chapter eight. Afterward, he journeyed from the one town and one village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some were women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Infirm infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, uh, from whom seven demons had gone out. Jo Jonah, the wife of Harold Stewart, Susanna, Susanna, and many others who were provided for them out of their resources. When a large crowd gathered with people from one town after another, journeying to him, he spoke in a parable. A sower went out a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and was trampled, and the birds of the sky ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground, and when it grew, it withered for lack of moisture. Some seeds fell among the thorns, and thorns grew, and it choked it. And some seeds fell on good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. Saying, after saying this, he called out, Whomever has hear, ears ought to hear. Then his disciples asked what is the what the meaning of this parable might be. He answered, Knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to you the rest they are made uh, they are made known through parables parables so that they may look but not see and hear but not understand. This is the meaning of the parable, the seed of the word the seed this is this is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Uh, those on the path are, are ones who have heard, but but when the devil comes and takes away the word from the hearts, they may not be, and they may not be saved. Those on rocky ground are the ones who, when they hear, receive the word of joy, but have no root, for they own for they believe for 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 a short time fall uh, for, they believe for a time and fall away in time of trial, and as for if, as for the seed, uh. Uh, receive the word, receive the word of joy, but no, have no root. They believe for, only for for time and fall away in time of trial. As for the seed that fell among the thorns, they are ones who had heard, but as as they go along, they are choked. They are choked by the anxieties and riches and pleasures of life, and they fail. They fall. They fail to produce mature fruit. But as for the seed that fell off the rich soil, they are the ones who whom they have heard the word, embraced it with generous and good heart. And, and bear fruit for perseverance. No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sees, sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who may enter may see the light. Uh, those who enter may see the light. For it is, it is for there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not become known to light. Like, <clears throat> will, not, will not be known and come to light. Take care, then, how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems will have been taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mothers and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mothers and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act upon it. One day he got onto a boat with the sisters, with his disciples and said to him, Let us cross to the other side of the lake. So they all set sail. And while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A squall blew over the lake, and they were taking in water and were in danger. They came and woke, woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing, he wakened. Rebuked the wind and the waves, and they subsided. He awakened, rebuked the winds and the waves, and subsided, and there was a calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? But they were filled. Well, they were filled of awe and amazement, and said to one another, "Who is this who commands even the winds and the seas, and and they obey him?" Then they sailed to the, tor the territory of Gennesaretism, Gennesaretism, which is opposite to Galilee. When he came, when he came of, uh, when he came ashore, a man from the town who was possessed by demons met him. For a long time he had not worn clothes, he did not live in a house, but lived among the tombs. When he had sought Jesus, he arrived, he cried out and fell fell upon and fell down upon him, and a loud voice shouted, What have you done what have you to do with me, Jesus? Jesus, the most high of God, I beg you, do not torment me. For they had ordered unclean spirit for so he had ordered the unclean spirit to come out of the man. He had taken hold of him many times and used and it used to be bound with chains and shackles as a restraint, but he would break his bonds and be driven and be driven by demon, 
into desert, invited him into desert places. When Jesus asked him, what is your name? He replied, Legion, because many demons have entered him. And they pleaded with him not to, not to order, but to depart. And they pleaded with him to order them not to depart into the abyss. A herd from many, a herd from many swine is feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him to allow them to enter the swine, and he let them. The demons came out of the men and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down to the sea bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herd saw what had happened, they ran away, reported the incident into the town, and throughout the countryside. People came out to see what had happened, and when they approached Jesus, they discovered the man from whom the demon had come out sitting at his feet. He was clothed in his right man, right mind, and he was seized with fear. Those who witnessed it told told him them how he possessed the man, how the possessed men had been saved. The entire population of the region of Gener the cities, whatever the hell that is, uh, asked Jesus to leave them because they they they, struck, they, they seized in great fear. Uh, so. Jaren, I'm going to have to pronounce it correctly. Jarenesens, that's the best I can do. Asked Jesus to lead them because they, they seized him with great fear. He got out into a boat and returned. The man from whom the demons have come out began, began to remain, begged to remain from him. But he sent him swaying, return home and recount what God has done to you, done for you. The man went off and proclaimed through the whole town that Je what Jesus had done for him. When Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed them, for they were all waiting for him. Then a man was a man, and a man named Jairus, an official of the synagogue, came forward. He fell at the feet of Jesus, begged him to come into the, into his house, because he had only a daughter of a twelve years old. She was dying, and as she is, he went. The crowds almost crushed him. A woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years, who spent her whole entire livelihood on doc, who spent her whole life livelihood on doctors, was unable to be cured by anyone came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. Immediately immediately her bleeding stopped. Uh, Jesus then asked, Who touched me? While all were denying it, Jesus said, Master, the crowds are pushing upon upon you. But Jesus said, Someone has touched me, for I know the power has gone out gone out from me. When when the woman realized realized that she had not escaped notice, she came forward trembling. Falling down before him, she explained in, in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been healed immediately. To her, he said, "Daughter, your faith has been saved. Say, your faith has saved you. Go in peace." While he was still speaking, someone from the synagogue official official's house arrived and said, "Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any more, any longer." On hearing this, Jesus answered him, "Do not be afraid. Have faith, and she'll be saved." When she when he arrived at the house, he he allowed no more to enter him, except John and Peter and John <coughs> and James, and when the uh, child's father and mother and the child's father and mother. All were weeping and mourning for her. He said, "Do not weep any longer, for he, for he is not dead, but sleeping." And they ridiculed him because they ridiculed him because they knew she was dead. Uh, but she took her by the hand and called her, "Christ, our child, arise!" <sighs> child, arise! From breath, her breath returned, and she immediately rose. Then she directed that she should be given something to eat. Her parents were astounded, and he instructed them to tell no one what had happened. And that is chapter, what should we call it here? Uh, this is chapter blah blah blue. This is chapter 8. Thank you for watching our show. Hi, this was lovely Eve. Whoa. Oh, it just, it, just, it, just, it just froze for a second there. On my, I was wondering if I have to re redo this. Thank you for watching our show. Have yourselves a lovely evening. And it's frozen again. Chapter 8. Chapter 9. See, the thing about, the, the thing about these disciples, these, these, these gospels, is they're very similar to each other. But each one has a little piece of, little, little piece of detail that the others, the other three, right, the other three of that person, that, that writer, the author's uh, um, fellow, disciple, or fellow disciples did not uh, record. Um, maybe they might you know something else because everyone has, everyone's different. Everyone's personality is different. Everyone's everyone you know might think something else is more important than something else, and then it just it just makes them the story more complete, you know. So thank you for watching our show. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to chapter chapter ten. Have have yourself a nice lovely evening. Beep 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 beep.
Beep, 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 beep.